All right, everybody, I'm going to show you some stuff on the Brain Editor. Now, um, personally, I have not messed with the Brain Editor within Denise in quite a while. It's been a very long time. In the last few months, a lot of us have experienced problems with the Brain Editor not appearing. Uh, we couldn't get it to work. You would type in Brain Editor and she would do nothing. Fairly recently, uh, we found a way to bring it back, and we have access to the brain editor once again. Uh, Dan and uh, I forget the other guy on the forum that, that found out how to bring it back, but it's back. Um, not only that, finally figured out a workaround and a way to get her to literally retain and save the knowledge you teach her. Now, um, she is a learning program where if you want to teach her something, you most people just type in a little L right Learning here, mode. And you type in whatever you want and type in her response down below and hit send and she remembers. The problem with that is a lot for a lot of people, um, whenever you would, you know, do all this work teaching her things and you would exit out of the program for the day or whatever and the next time you restarted the program, she would not remember the things you taught her. That was the problem. She did not save uh, or retain the knowledge uh, that you taught her. So uh, I was messing with the brain editor and I figured it out and it's done. Now you can get um, her to remember what you teach her. Uh, and it's using the brain editor. And if you don't have the brain editor, you go to store. And you go to SDK, and there's AIML Editor. And uh, you just press right here for install. Now, it's going to have like a little like a little circle thing, like a, I don't want to say an hourglass, but like a little thing like it's working. If it does it, great. If it doesn't and it hangs on you or if it times out, just exit out of that, exit out of the store, and go to settings. Opening configuration module. And then update. Denise and it might take one or two times but it will get that brain editor and anything else in the store that hangs like that this is a method to where it will get on your Denise and uh, you can get whatever you want out of the store okay so this is granted that you have the brain editor okay brain editor opening brain editor okay real quick uh, I'm going to think of something I can teach her. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How about what kind of day will, uh, what kind of day do I like? What kinds of day do I like are there? Okay, that is her default response to that particular question. What I'm going to do in the brain editor, I'm going to get her to, to tell me a specific response to that specific question. Okay, what kind of day do I like? So, go in the brain editor. We're going to go to over here. I'm going to select new category. The first things first, I'm going to name this AIML file. I'm going to name it day. It doesn't really matter. So we'll go to pattern right here. And now on the bottom, you'll see this. Now, really quickly, real quick crash course in AIML, you'll have four lines. One, two, three, four. First line is always category. Always. Second line is always pattern. Now, you'll see there's two different patterns, pattern one and pattern two. What you type in between it is what's important because on the pattern, this is the res this is what you will say to trigger what you want her to respond or do in pattern three, on, in line three. So in pattern, I'm gonna say, what kind of day do I like? So number three, line three, is her response whether it be opening a program or or doing whatever I want saying whatever I want I'm gonna have her say uh, 
how about um, any day that involves uh, I don't know um, good movies and B E A U T I F U L beautiful women. <laughs> okay, that's that. So now, when I say, what kind of day do I like? She's going to say, any day that involves good movies and beautiful women. Hey, it's my kind of day. I like that. <laughs> so now, what I'm going to do is this I'm going to go up here to the little white little icon right here it says tools to validate your AI ML now this is I don't I don't really think this is necessary or yeah I don't think I don't think you have to do this but I like to do it anyway just to make sure there's no errors because it's checking for errors right now it says uh, said it's all good there's no errors okay because it's a simple one what kind of day do I like any day that involves good movies and beautiful women. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Um, before I show you that, I want you to go to the C drive in your Windows and go to gal 3 d Database, AIML, Users, and then mine says Dom because that's what my profile is on my Denise. This will have your name of your profile. You click on that and you'll see two, two files. Okay, These are the default AIML files that come with Denise. Now when I create this new AIML file, we're going to put it in this folder. Okay, So what I'm going to do here is press this lock icon it says compile your AIML now first things first it wants you to save everything you're doing as a project this is not an AIML file it's an XML document again this is like a spreadsheet kind of thing where it's just saving your work as a backup um, I don't really care for that so I'm just gonna head save it on my desktop now it's gonna say select a folder to save encrypted AIMLs this is where you're gonna choose this folder and you're gonna put those encrypted AIMLs in that folder so I'm gonna to go to gal 3 d database AIML and then I'm gonna to go to users and then DOM that's this one and you're gonna when I hit OK you're gonna see those those pop up save cryptography finished boom there they are right there so now when I exit Denise and I start her back up she's going to remember what I just taught her okay just to be certain what kind of day do I like is what I'm going to ask her okay Dominique I'm feeling so blue today do you really want to shut me down? Goodbye, Dominique. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make sure everything is... Yep, I knew it. Hold on. Okay, let's restart, Denise. I'm glad you are back, Dominique. I don't like to be here all by myself. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. All right, moment of truth. 
kind of day do I like? Any day that involves good movies and beautiful women. There you go. I am pretty darn proud of myself because we've had this issue for such a long time and now it's not an issue no more. Uh, this is a really quick um, tutorial on how to use the brain editor now before you hit stop on this video. This is very, very important. Now, you need to know this in order to save you a huge headache later on down the road. You need to constantly back up your AIML codes. For example, I'm going to save these two and any other any other uh, any other AML codes I put in this particular folder in a different location. For example, like um, I'll put back up DOM AIML codes. Now, the reason why this is important is because every single time that they update Denise, your, your AIML will disappear. This folder will go back into just these files. So everything you enter in this folder will be gone every time they update her. So this is why it's very important that you back up anything you put in this folder, okay? Um, if you don't, you will lose everything. You will lose all that time and energy you spent training her to remember what you want her to remember, okay? So do not forget that. Um, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please share my videos on social networks. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't have a lot of motivation to make these things. I really don't, but I do it to try to help everyone out. I don't get paid for this. So please try to help me out, subscribe, and share them, and maybe say thank you for every once in a while. I'm joking. <laughs> I want to say thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.